It's 2021, and that means circumstances are very different than they were in the 80s when our parents were asking themselves, what do I do with my life? In an age where we are exposed to young adults becoming YouTube sensations, TikTok stars, SoundCloud rappers, sensational musicians, and much more, the new generation of young adults has been questioning the status quo like never before. This new internet fame phenomena is also combined with students' frustrations regarding job security after graduation, high university price tags, and the quality of education being received, especially during online schooling. To address the question, what are young adults deciding to do with their lives in 2021, I have decided to interview two of my close friends, one who has chosen a more traditional post-high school route and one who is challenging tradition. They share their experiences as well as their opinions with me as I compare these two lifestyles. This is Madison Marquez, my friend from high school who has since moved on to live a fun and adventurous lifestyle, traveling with her partner and internet celebrity, Dan Bilzerian. Her partner Dan's success as a social media influencer, business owner, and poker player has allowed them to live a glamorous and carefree lifestyle. This is Bailey Wesselman, my old roommate and University of South Carolina rising senior. She is in the Darla Moore School of Business, a Tri Delta, and yoga and HIT class instructor. In high school, I was torn between the University of South Carolina and a business school in London. And I had two really awesome college guidance counselors. And they told me that there are so many people that would love to have the American college experience. And they also told me that going to school in the UK would also be up my alley. Um, but I realized that I was fortunate to be able to go to a school like the University of South Carolina. So I decided I'd give it a try and I loved it. I wanted to be a model when I was in high school because uh, I was really skinny and tall and I thought it'd be fun. Well, I mean, not long term. I didn't want to be a model long term, but, but out of high school, I wanted to be. I didn't want to go to college um, ever. Uh, well, I mean, like, like I never wanted to go straight out of high school. Like, that was just never really, like, really what I wanted. I mean, I had plans to go to NYU, but I, I like, kind of knew the price tag. I wasn't going to actually, like, stress myself out that much. I mean, for 320 grand, it's, like, I don't really, my parents didn't have that money. I didn't have that money. I was like, that's not yeah. so, um, That was kind of unrealistic. Yeah, I guess I wanted to model and do like social media. And then when I met my boyfriend, he's a very big social media mogul, I guess. And that almost made me not want to do it. <laughs> so um, it just kind of made me realize like, I don't know, he consumed his life with it and he was extremely, extremely successful with it. But um, I mean, he, he hates it now, so he doesn't even, like, go on the apps. Um, this is interesting because I have gone to school in, I did a semester abroad. I did six months in Taiwan, and I went all the way through junior year of high school. I went from middle school through junior year of high school in France. So I've seen a lot of different education systems. And I, although the U.S. <laughs> educate you know, college experience is incredibly expensive. I do think it's worth it. Um, in other parts of the world, they're very test and numbers based. Um, whereas here we're very experience and very experience based. So like my time in Women in Business Council and as a Greek ambassador and doing different things for the university has taught me, and even the internships I've had, have taught me a lot about how I'll be able to work and succeed once I'm out there in the real world. Um, whereas if I were in Europe, I would have spent a lot more, they don't, they don't have things like that to be a part of. Um, so I would have spent a lot more time focusing on grades and numbers and achieving, you know, scoring really high there, but I might not have developed the same sort of professional skills that I have now. Like I've never been more upset than the fact that I didn't learn what credit was in, um, in high school like why don't why don't we know that we should know that like we shouldn't go into the world not knowing what that stuff is it's like crazy like i met a girl who's one of my friends she's 28 now and she literally is like a vegas like pool girl you know she works at a day club she she makes more than 
nurses okay she makes more than like some doctors honestly like she makes a lot of money she makes probably like 400 grand a year doing this and like um like just no problem i mean it's just like she works three days a week i mean it's, just, it's a complete joke and like she literally just breaks in the cash she has three houses four cars like all paid off keep in mind all paid off i heard her guy her financial advisor on the phone he's never seen someone her age with no debt zero debt zero debt and everything is perfectly financed she's like literally like seven streams of income because she started making so much money when she was 18 so she just started putting it in other places she's gonna be a millionaire by 30. i mean it's just like it's crazy That's and, and she didn't go to college for two seconds like and she's doing better than all of these people who think they're great because they have a college education they think they're better than her because they have this but they're the ones who are going to be in debt and struggling to find a job for the rest of their lives and she's working three days a week traveling all the time and having the time of her life i mean it's just like we have this stigma around like these other things that like make us a lot of money because it doesn't look the same as a like, college education on paper but like it's just such bullshit Throughout my research process, I gained very interesting and valuable insight into the minds of the new generation and how success is being defined in the new age. Now I ask myself, what does success look like in 2021? How is it being redefined? And how will the means of reaching success change in years to come?